Hello folks, and welcome to the jungle. Well, I would put in a welcome to the jungle here, but I don't feel like fussing with the copyright on it. But I might do some later on. Anyway, uh, well, we're completely away from the battlefield of where we were before, and completely out of Europe. Now we're in the jungles. And here's some more of that fun little uh, failing auto aim. Notice how I'm aiming at the one at the right, and yeah, that's shooting the one on the left. Notice how it does it again. Isn't that fun? <laughs> well, at least it, I don't know what they said. To all of a sudden, change the coding on that, but it really does make these make this mission a horrible mission. So we'll go ahead and keep going with this here. Looks like a pretty easy standard stroll mission. I think they uh, intended the mission to be a little harder than what it was, though. Uh, you'll see what I mean when we get there. Or it could be that they just was trying to be nice. But as we advance here, you'll notice that there's a couple med kits around. Yep, one, two, and some hand grenades. And all of a sudden, a helicopter just spawned up on us. And there's another med kit. And there's a helicopter chasing us. Why did they have to use this scene? Oh, also, yes, those are rice patties. So that means, yes, we've moved to theater Vietnam. How fun. We're no longer in World War II. We are now in Vietnam. And a helicopter is just dogging the heck out of us. And yes, the game really does expect you to charge there, get the bazooka, and then charge all the way back without dying. Uh, this took me about four attempts to make, but it was able to do, able to be done. And that was a nice helicopter explosion. But uh, as you can see, they made excellent detail, rice patties and. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, you can't walk in them. Not like you'd want to, but it's kind of an annoyance factor. Also, uh, there's these fences here. Uh, so basically, as you can tell, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Now, oddly enough, there hasn't been much of a sea element in this game so far. It's just been land and air. Uh, so hopefully, since we're in the jungle, they might add some sea element. Otherwise, it's been rather disappointing so far. But uh, like I said, um, now video, now music, now for those of you wondering about my previous videos and why I was ranting, it was because I was ranting about music from 1940s. Now, music from 1960s and whatnot, I can understand the copyrights. That's fine, and that's good and dandy. Uh, a lot of the movies were made during uh, 1970s and later, uh, I guess. I don't know. But um, also, look how easily detectable a lot of the tan hiding are, but yet you can't shoot them because of the fail auto-aim. <laughs> The auto aim is hitting the building and not where I'm aiming. Kind of annoying. See? Now it just shoots up there. Anyway. So we have to trigger them somehow. There'll be one to the left, one to the right. See? Unfortunately, the Tan aren't really the most uh, smartest people in this mission, leaving a lot of pretty obvious ambush locations. And here we get to see something we have I haven't been able to show off for a while. Some hand grenade fail. Notice I was trying to aim off that rock and make it bounce, but it hit the rock instead. So we'll have to be closer to do it. And we'll go ahead and try this. Anyway, our mission this time is to steal a, a tan helicopter. Why a tan helicopter? No idea. But tan regardless. So we have to go through this town here and go from there. 
like I said, uh, pretty much, a tan oh, see, there's his hand right hidden in that bush right there. I don't know if you can see his feet or not. Right, but you can see, just see from that shot there, I kind of see the little peak of him. Right there, you see him. And I, my auto aim issues is still happening there. So we'll just ha chuck a grand hand grenade here and see if we can say hello to him. Yep, looks like I can throw over water at least. That's good. And blow him up. Like I said, not very skilled hiders, are they? I'm just checking around for any more obvious hidden people. Now we can go check on the guy that we just killed. See if he's dead or not. Oh, looks like one guy hit over there and ran up to those boxes on us. Took him out. Again, I really would like my auto aim, I mean my uh, railer aim back, because this auto aim, guiding aim kind of stinks. I like to be able to shoot people. And that is not a very obvious hiding spot. Uh, camera fail. <laughs> Nothing else back there though. If I had a grenade, I could throw it over the wall and kill him, but I don't. So we'll go ahead and go. I don't see much difficulty in this mission so far. Uh, but checking around, just make sure. Don't see anything else, so let's go ahead and advance. I moved a little bit too far and spawned them. No biggie. I can take a hit or two. I got a few more mid kits in the back there. I can pick up. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. So uh, go ahead. But uh, I was reading a wiki the other day on uh, Army Man, Airline and Sea, and during the history of it. Uh, it seems that at the World of War series, they were trying to do a lot of uh, remakes or, you know, like a lot of moments, like either movie parodies or uh, moments in war. Uh, they were trying to highlight from both World War II and Vietnam. But here's where the actual Vietnam and Vietnam goes. So uh, for all those who want to say that Army Man is Vietnam-based, well, here you go. We're finally in Vietnam. Uh, also, remember, it is getting near July 4th, so uh, give your veterans their appreciation and you know, all that sort of thing. Okay. And we'll go on from there. Looks like there's another medkit force. Way too many medkits in this mission. I can understand the, with the first couple being there, but they were way too generous. <laughs> okay, but uh, since we're at the end here, I'm going to do a save state just in case, because uh, anything that deals with helicopters is always bad news. And we'll go ahead and move on from here. Oh, there's a guy. That's, uh, uh, auto aim fail. Auto aim fail. Dang it, come on. Arg, stupid auto aim. Well, I lost him. Yeah. It was like a shooting machine gun, but my but my do that dang auto aim there it keeps hitting everything but him. Which, like I said, I don't know why they tweaked it during the middle of the game, but I wish they hadn't. And he's still running back. Oh, that's a good sign. Very good sign when your enemy's retreating. Let's kill him quick. Uh oh, and there's Bazookaman. And he just joined a helicopter to man a gun and he just killed me. Yeah, I was afraid of that. <laughs> this time we're just gonna bum rush him. Like I said, our mission is to, to take the helicopter so we can't kill it. So if, if any tan hop in the helicopter, I guess that forces us to kill it or something. And that means we automatically lose because we can't kill a passenger, I guess, is what they're trying to intend here. 
Uh oh, he's running back again. Oh, I got you that time, little bugger. Okay, we know there's at least one bazooka man over there. We don't see much else. There's a guy in a helicopter that's trying to snipe him. Looks like I can't snipe him now. And there's the bazooka man way over there. You can barely see him. Looks like I can't do a shot on him though. And uh, like I said, and there's a guy right there. He's down. And there's that guy in the helicopter. I guess I can't shoot him. There's still that guy behind that rock. I don't know if he's dead or not. Ooh, auto aim fell for the tan. Ouch. He just bazooked himself. Okay. Oh well. Let's go ahead and call us a mission after we kill this guy. If we can kill this guy. Uh oh, he's running. Oh, there we got him. Okay, and this will be Kinky signing out. Uh, so, later. Thank you.